Hey everyone, my name's Ricky Change Fashion 4, also with you, Ashton 446. When I ask, let's say you to go and welcome to part 9 of All Cry on the Western Front. Okay, please stand by till I get. Here we go. Where we left off from. God, I just make out already. Like how that scared me. Turn it down a bit. Right, that way I was recording it was just a bit laggy, but this way, this way I was recording it's not. Oh god, they're getting attacked by enemies artillery or their own artillery. God. Was the cafeteria by their own artillery possibly? <laughs> that was close. <laughs> eee. Oh my god. How did you get up and help him, Paul? Oh, <laughs> whoops! <laughs> I know it was not a last matter, but whoops! Whee! Oh my god! That definitely gets close to them. The Star Helms, not without, without the picket home, the Germans. Too many French dead.
a long ride so you could get hungry. Bread and cheese. You could find a lobster dinner in the middle of the desert. <laughs> God. Off he goes to a hospital. Go on, you know which one. Sorry about what you go about to see on the screen. Just checking what time this is up to. Less than five minutes to go. Albert and I are in a Catholic hospital. This is a piece of luck because the Catholic infirmaries are noted for their good treatment and good food. We were wheeled in the night before directly from the train and none of us has slept very well. Most of them have been gassed. Most of them have been shot. Most of them have got tucked by artillery. You know what's going to happen then? Goodbye, Lynn. Goodbye, life. With the ones that got wounded and still yes wounded wounds on them hello home See him again. Why not? Taking his clothes. That means he's off to the dead room. Dead room? What's the dead room? It's the dying room, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, it's a little place in the basement. Whenever anybody wants to go there and say goodbye, world, goodbye, life, take him there. Well, it's convenient, really. It's next to the mortuary. No one ever comes back from it. The beds empty quickly and the new occupants take their places. It is going badly with Albert. He's in much pain. And last night, one of our ward mates awakened with a severe hemorrhage. He has been only semi-conscious today. The doctors look in more often. Oh, God. I'm just checking this is 10 minutes and gone in the movie. Uh, less than three. <laughs> Stop it, mate. Why didn't you leave him alone? He doesn't want to see him die, mate. You are doing so well, Paul. Soon we'll throw away the cane. I'm terribly sorry what you're seeing on the screen. On the screen. Were you watching the actual action? I'm
fight and never mind, we'll fight and fight and we know we're from Bendy.